the sun looked wounded that morning. Above the tiled roofs of the imperial city, it rose not as a flawless disk of fire, but marked, scarred by a dark blemish large enough to be seen with the naked eye. Court astronomers froze in their steps. In a world where heaven spoke through light, this was not a flaw, it was a message. In the year 1128, China stood under the vast sky of the Song Dynasty, a civilization obsessed with order, balance, and cosmic harmony. Astronomers did not gaze upward out of curiosity alone. They watched because the sky was believed to reflect the fate of the empire itself. Every eclipse, every comet, every irregular glow carried meaning. And that morning, the sun itself seemed to whisper a warning. From quiet observatories, scholars prepared ink and brushes. They did not look directly for long, only through morning haze, thin clouds, or reflections on water. What they saw unsettled them, a dark spot drifting across the face of the sun, changing shape, lingering day after day. It should not have been there, and yet it was undeniable. At first, some feared it was a sign of divine displeasure. Others wondered if smoke or mist had fooled the eye, but careful observers compared notes day after day. The mark returned, it moved, it grew, then faded. This was no illusion. Something real was unfolding in the heavens. Here is the quiet revolution most people miss. Instead of turning away in fear, these astronomers wrote it down. In official records, precise, unemotional, meticulous, they described the sun's dark scars in exact dates and positions. No myths, no dragons, just observation. The act itself was extraordinary. Humanity was not merely interpreting the sky anymore. It was documenting it. Centuries later, scientists would name these blemishes sunspots, vast storms of magnetism raging across the solar surface, each one larger than Earth, each one a pulse of the sun's hidden violence. But in 1128, none of that language existed, only patience, discipline, and the courage to trust what the eye could see. And here comes the twist. Those ancient Chinese records are still used today. Modern solar physicists rely on them to reconstruct centuries of solar activity, proof that long before telescopes, humans were already tracking the rhythms of our star. The sun had always been changing. Humanity had simply learned to notice. In that moment, under a scarred sunrise, something shifted. The heavens stopped being only omens and became evidence. Observation became memory. Memory became science. And every time we study the sun now, we are still following the ink trails left by those silent watchers beneath the Song Dynasty sky. If this story illuminated something new for you, help keep these hidden moments alive. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Your support helps this channel continue uncovering the forgotten sparks that shaped our world.